It is a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Vitor Belfort. Well, you can argue, Joe, this is the most devastating knockout artist in UFC history, the Brazilian legend Vitor Belfort. He has finished all of his UFC wins, most of those in round one, and he's doing that consistently against the best the sport has to offer. Your thoughts tonight? I guess most people expect the former champion, Vitor Belfort, will get after it early and often here as usual. Vitor is primarily known for his blinding punching speed. He has explosive striking and a lot of impressive knockouts. He's got a great amount of experience in the sport and has been facing championship level competition since the late 90s. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history, and really a guy who has taken the sport by storm. His win over Jose Aldo, Nate Diaz, most recently Eddie Alvarez. Remarkable what McGregor has accomplished in a short time in the UFC. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Belfort is 11 years the elder. He is three inches taller. The reach is the same. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Vitor Lafino! And now you see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Well, it's a building that has hosted so many classic fights. We are underway at Madison Square Garden, right here in the heart of New York City. So here is Conor McGregor once again. You know about the physical gifts, but in the past, he has beaten guys mentally before they even make the walk. Very intimidating proposition to fight one Conor McGregor, and this one's underway. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early, they will come often here tonight, and even when you do your homework, 
It doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. That one hurt. Good shot. snap back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Not there. Oh, and he Land an outstanding leg kick. Went for the head kick. Oh! There was a nice exchange. Two minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Vitor Belfort. Oh, huge block. Just out of range with that right hook. How about that chin? 90 seconds now to go in this one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Connor. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Go, guys, work. Let's try to establish that jab. Fainting with that kick. They're locked in a clinch. Oh, good opportunity. Oh! oh! He's in big, big trouble. <laughs> Round two coming up next. Well, he showed off his powerful strike in there with a knockdown. Great round from McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Here we see that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer is in the building. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Excellent fake with the kick. Oh, hook shot blocked there by McGregor. Can we show you the total strikes? That one appears to stun him. This could be it right here. Really missed with that right hand. Good exchanges from both fighters. And he connects there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Connor. That punch will work right through the goal. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Yeah, wow. looks a little wobbly on his feet. That hurt him. These are some bombs he is throwing. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good defense. 
happens here, Joe, is the hook to the head is blocked. Just missed with the straight left hand. Lands a punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Conor McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Kick lands for him there. leg kick. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combination. Whoa. But that one really hurt him. 30 seconds to go. Looks like he's got a submission locked up. Grabs his ankle, pulls down on his shin. He's gonna throw that leg over. He's got that. He's got the knee over the ankle, pins down. And the horn sounds on round two. It's getting tighter. This could be the end. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that from a different camera. And here we see it from another angle. Ariane Celeste is with us. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Punishing kick there. A pretty good counter jab to the head by Vitor Belfort. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Trying to establish that jab once again. We show you the total strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Visibly limping here. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Vitor Belfort. Rips the body there. Fainting with that kick. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed oh, with it there, though, Joe. Oh, oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Belfort's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Here it is from another angle. 
Check it out again. Crank right on the jaw. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor. So the notorious Conor McGregor getting it done yet again. I am running out of superlatives when it comes to describing all this man has accomplished. People have doubted him. He mutes every naysayer, every step of the